Good afternoon, good afternoon to a lovely episode of Feeling Good Podcast where we talk about the predictions That's of, right. of these great games. Let's get it. Uh, I'm ready to smart, spark this baby up. All right. What do you want to talk about first? Well, we got the Steelers and the and the the Browns. All right, game day predictions then. What a matchup. How do you think how do you even feel about uh your lighter? Um I don't well, even know how I don't even know how I'm supposed to feel about the Browns being in the playoffs. Yeah, but me neither. The last time that they were in, this guy right here was playing for him. Really? That's right. Oh, that's a good fun fact. I didn't even know that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, me personally, I think the 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 um Pittsburgh Steelers are gonna are gonna win that one. Yeah, and, what, what's, just, what's your just, pit? What's your just, score? Just because for the simple fact they did bench a lot of their um their starters just to prevent um injuries. They're, you know what I mean? They already week made, seventeen, right? Yeah, they already they yeah. already made they already made it in the in the playoffs. There's no there's no need for you to have your They were protecting the Steelers, in, yeah. You know what I mean? When okay, if we, even if we do take a loss and we, you know, have to play them again, they're gonna have all their starters and they're gonna they're they're gonna fuck them over. That's right. So <clears throat> with that being said I see the score being at least twenty four to. I say it could be twenty four to seventeen. Seven point game. That's not bad. See, I do. Even though I do think the Steelers are going to win this game, I think they're in the most danger of losing out of the you know the top one, one, two, and three teams in the league. Kansas City. Let's take a look. Kansas City, Buffalo, Pittsburgh. I'm thinking Pittsburgh might might have the worst chance of losing. Green Bay, New Orleans, Seattle. It's a toss up. I'm thinking Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is the one that I think could go down. Okay. Pittsburgh is definitely gonna not go all the way. I'll tell you that right now. They ain't got enough uh, firepower for all that. So I'm thinking if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go prediction. I'm taking uh, Pittsburgh. I'm taking it by 14 though. We'll go 20, 28 to 14. 28 to 14. I think it could be a little bit more scoring. Wild card matchup. I'm going to go. Well, this is this. Go 28 10. 28 10. Pittsburgh. Okay. See, this thing about Cleveland. They got the firepower on offense, but the defense is very suspect. Besides TJ Watt. That's the. That guy's doing big things. Did you say how many how many sacks he had? He led the <coughs> league, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, defensive Cleveland year, defensive player of the year nominee. <coughs> Cleveland, same thing. They have the offensive power, but their defense is suspect. That's why I don't really see it being. I don't really see it being a a, a, a high scoring game though. Because oh shit, I don't really. How do I put this? <coughs> Even though that they got good offenses, they're still not elite. But they made they made it to the playoffs. So that's what that's what's crazy. Without yeah, but, without but, Odell Beckham, but I at, did not think they were going to be in this predicament. That is true. It is true. I thought Odell Bell going ODB going down. They but they still take. got they still got Jarvis Landry. They got they got Nick Chubb. They got Baker Mayfield. They do got some, and they got Kareem. Really, Kareem Hunt. Yeah, yeah, they do. I forgot. He's one of them sleepers. Yeah, he kind of kicks in the kicks in the background. You know, <laughs> kicks in the background. Well. We do not promote domestic violence on this video. No, we do not. No, we do not. Um, but yeah, that I I just I don't know. They're they're they they got good offensive pieces. They are very, um, I wouldn't say stacked, but almost every position on their offense is covered with good people. It's just they're they're inconsistent. Can we talk about the Stefanski? This goddamn coach, Kevin Stefanski. That's for the uh, Bills. No, for the uh, for the. 
Browns. Okay, I'm not too familiar with uh with the, all the coaches. Let's just say this man is he's up for coach of the year, in my opinion. Him or that Bills coach, Sean McDermott. He has helped the the, the Browns go to the to the playoffs, but first time since what, two thousand two. Right. That's crazy. That is true. That is that true. Is and that crazy. will play a big factor in, 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 in him getting the uh, Coach of the Year award. Oh, Me yeah. personally, I'd like to see uh, uh, Andy Reid get it. Just because. Randy, <coughs> Andy Reid. Just because <coughs> of how he turned Kansas City. Not only just him, obviously Patrick Mahomes, yep. and Tyreek Hill, and you know. You, you got you know you got a few players over there that also help, but Andy Reid being the head coach over there made a big difference. Oh yeah, they took he t yeah. Not only for the team, but for the whole community of Kansas City. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. I could agree on that. Tyree Kill's a goddamn household name now. Speaking of Tyree Kill, we're uh, we got a Tyree Kill jersey we traded. We traded for the Robbie Anderson. Autograph side. Autograph sign. So you know. It'll be in the shop soon. Super Bowl champion. <laughs> Super Bowl champion. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but we both can agree that Pittsburgh is going to win this game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Especially now since they don't um, – especially now that since they, you know, are going to have all their starters in, I, re I really do think that they're going to um, beat Cleveland – Especially with T.J. Watts on the <laughs> other side of the ball. He that leads, dude's a monster. Leads like, the league in sacks, which I believe is uh, 15 sacks, I believe. Leads the league. Um, he, obviously, is He's the got younger the version of his brother. He is going to be the future of the NFL when it comes to defensive players. Especially when it comes to, like, um, uh the top five, top ten best defensive players um, every year to come. Yep. I say he's going to at least be in the top five. Agree to disagree. I think he's got that James Harrison type impact on the Steelers. Yes. Maybe even bigger. The pass when it comes to pass rushing, yes, he he does have a lot of similarities. He gets to the quarterback a lot easier than what most people think he does. You know what I mean? Yep. Especially when it comes to like the people on his defense, he is definitely going to be the first one to the yeah. quarterback almost every time. Almost every time. He's Not getting, every and he's time, getting double teamed, triple teamed, just yeah. like Aaron Donald. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. All right. Now the fun matchup. My my pick, I think, out of the teams that I think are serious, the Bills, Chiefs. I'm not sold on the Bucks, but I want to be. I want to be. Tom Brady is my guy. But, man, these Bills, I think these Bills are serious. Cole Beasley and uh, just Stephon Diggs led the damn league <coughs> in receiving. Yeah. Cole Beasley, I thought that man was washed up in Dallas. He's he's, pro no. he's proving a lot of people wrong. I always like Cole Beasley because Cole Beasley, to me, I is, guess I just um, hate Dallas. I hate him. Yeah, I know you do. I fucking hate him. Um, Cole Beasley is... To me, like a Julian Edelman, Danny Amendola, uh, Wes Welker type players. Very short, <coughs> um, very small. You know, he's, re he's really undersized for a um, wide receiver. <coughs> but <coughs> the man <coughs> has glue on his hands. When you need that third down conversion... <coughs> You're almost guaranteed to get that third down conversion with Cole Beasley. Just like Welker. He's got that. Yes. Well, we don't want to talk about Welker because Welker did drop a very, very <laughs> large pass at the end of his career. <laughs> yes. Oh, but man. When they're all in their primes and stuff like that, you know what I mean? They all have their similarities when it comes down to it. Yeah. Um, so but. Stefan Diggs. That motherfucker right there, boy, I tell you what. Stephon Diggs is... For real. Yeah, he, he's a real baller. He ain't he, a one-time hit wonder with the mir no, he Minneapolis has, Miracle. He has hands of gold. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the, like you said, the Minneapolis Miracle. 
even though that the, it was a blown blown play by 43 by a, by a rookie yeah i still me personally i still think it was set up but you know the lions just made anything. the same play recently uh -huh. minnesota literally is yeah, let's uh let's not talk about them uh, it's, it's heartbreaking heartbreaking I don't know. I'm I'm excited about this this quarterback matchup. You know, Philip Rivers. I think dude's a Hall of Famer. First He's ballot. He's talking think, about retiring after this year. You know what they said? They, they they're talking about Stafford, maybe getting signed and trade over to Indy. I, can I think see it. I think that's a new uh, same face, new place. That that's a, he needs yeah. to he needs to go. I can see it. Lions need to get a whole new look going. But um, my in my opinion. Bills are definitely going to beat the... Um, oh, yeah, they're going to dog wash Colts. them. It's going to be bad. Um, because it's the same thing, like I said, with these two, with Cleveland and, and the Steel, you know, and, and Pittsburgh. Offense is nice. Defense is suspect. When you get to the Bills, the offense is nice. And the defense is a little bit more reliable than the other team. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> when it comes to <coughs> when it comes to the DBs, right, right. You know what I mean? The defensive backs are more reliable than these other teams. You know these other three teams. It's <coughs> that's what I look at when when it comes to who's gonna win, who's gonna lose. Is that defense wins championships? Offense can score. Special teams can score. But if you don't allow them to, you can't win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Prediction. What score? Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. That is a tough one. Because I don't want to make it seem <coughs> I don't like see, the Colts. Can't. I don't see the Colts score more than 14 points in this game. I see the final. I was going to say the same thing, but. I see the final score being Jonathan 30, Taylor, 30, man. 34 14. Listen, I've been telling people since Jonathan, since I seen Jonathan Taylor play uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, when they seen him start and he was toting that ball. That motherfucker came to the NFL. Like I told people, he, he's going to come to the NFL. He's going to be one of the future, you know, running backs. He's actually going to be productive. He ain't going to be like a star in college. I got to see more from him. I got to see more. Bust in the NFL. <laughs> He is totally. I believe last game he had 250 rushing yards. Yeah. <coughs> that boy doing his thing. Rookie. 250. A rookie. <coughs> rookie of the year. You know who I'm giving it to. Who's that? You want my offensive or you want my defensive? Is it going to be offensive rookie of the year? Yep. Offensive rookie of the year. I'm going. Even though your boy Justin, you want to go with Justin for breaking Randy's record, I got to go Justin Herbert. Justin they, Herbert. They have found themselves a fucking franchise quarterback. Yeah, he can throw 60 yard flat footed. That man is, he's, what, like, a, what a pick. Body what squared pick. up. All he has to do is just, and then it goes from 60 yards. I did, did not, in the combine. I did not think he was going to be doing that shit out of college. I'm like, oh, he. He's going to be nice. He might be another A.J. <coughs> McCarron, you know, another one of them filling guys. But after I seen his performance. That dude is nice. After I seen his performance <coughs> in, um, you know, in college, I didn't watch much of him in college. <coughs> but when I did see him play in college, <coughs> he, uh, he, was, he, was, he was doing good. He, he was tossing, you know, he, he's very, not very accurate, but he does have good accuracy. He got some good um, mobility. Arm strength, he can, you know, he can throw the ball, you know. Um, when he was in the combine, when I see what he did in the combine, I said, whoever picks that, that boy up, he's going to be a star one day, and they are going to be glad that they grabbed him. Yeah. Obviously, uh, um, the Chargers, I was going to say San Diego Chargers, but I forgot to move to L.A. L.A. Chargers have possibly picked up something like a Tom Brady. I don't want to say he's going to be Tom that's, Brady because that's, that's a, a that's pick. a big that's a big, you know, TU be continued. Let's just see what he does. Justin Herbert, 
you got big you got big potential. This guy's putting you well, in, hold on, in hold the on, Tom hold on. Brady wait, wait, category. Wait, wait, wait. What I mean by what I mean by being the next Tom Brady is being an underrated quarterback that no one really has yeah. heard of, talked about, you know, you didn't um Who's the first round pick? Well yeah, 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 yeah. He's the first round pick. But that's because of his performance in the um in the combine. Like he was he was lighting that motherfucker up. Yeah. Nobody else in that combine was standing on the goal line with both of their feet squared up looking down the field and just being able to throw it like that and go for sixty yards. It's, it, it it just didn't happen. He was the only one that did it. And that got a lot of coaches' attention. Like yeah. What can he do when he actually sets himself, drops back, looks for a player, and we need that that deep bomb to get that touchdown? He's the <coughs> one. I'm telling you. That was the same draft with Kyler Murray, right? No. He came out this year? He came out this year, yeah. Yeah. So he was uh, Tua. They got Tua, him. Tua and Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, yeah, yeah. Well, he was a second-round pick. I Two... Those are two quarterbacks, even though Jalen Hurts transferred to Oklahoma. Tua. Are we going to get to Jalen Hurts? Tua and Jalen Hurts are two. I think those are the two best quarterbacks that came out of Alabama because for the simple fact, these two men were starting. Right? Don't don't say ever. No, 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 no. Or ever. They started. Out of Alabama? Out of Alabama. Ever. I'm pretty sure yes. You forgetting a couple Hall of Famers? No, no, not ever, not ever. You missing? But two, in recent memory, I'll say. you missing two Hall of Famers: Bart Starr and Joe Namath. Yes. Them but boys. think about think about how long ago that was. Long, long time long, ago. Long, long, long time ago. These are two Alabama quarterbacks that are actually doing something in recent memory. Yeah. I think Mac Jones. Mac Jones. Stay stay up for Mac Jones, man. I'm telling you. I don't that think, dude is nice. I think he's going to be just like every other... Well, AJ McCarron? What you think? Yeah. A lot of their See, quarterbacks have been like... I th yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just because they mean? got fucking four fire first-round pick receivers. You know, like, they got so much talent. surrounded by talent. So much Shit, talent. I could go out there at Alabama, be their motherfucking quarterback, and, and, and be a star quarterback, too, if I was surrounded by all them motherfuckers. Who, I tell who you was what. that big... Who was that big quarterback that played for the Giants? Remember that shit? Uh, Jared. Jared, fuck. Yeah, he played for the uh, Giants. Big, big dude. He was a quarterback. I'm going to have to look that shit up. Oh, you talking about back in the day? Yeah, it was like. Yeah, probably, and then they ended up getting rid of him. He went and played uh, like AFL or, arena football yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, and he went to the Canadian football yeah, yeah. too, I believe. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name, but I know who you're talking about. That dude was. That motherfucker should be in the Hall of Fame. My offensive rookie of the year? No, I take that back. No Hall of Fame. My offensive rookie of the year. It's either going to have to be Justin Jefferson. Or, um... Damn, that's that's actually... I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hard because there's it a is. couple. It's either going to be, for me, Justin Jefferson or Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor? Okay. Yeah, so what's your team. prediction? What's your prediction? Let's move on to the next teams. For these two? Yeah. I already said the Bills is going to win. I just don't know what score is going to be. I really don't. Like, that's hard predicting the score because I don't want to say that they're only going to get um, 14 points. But. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm calling it. They're going to at least are, get 28. Bills are winning by 20. Yep. Bold prediction, but. I can I'm see it. it. I can see it. Three touchdowns. Right, who we got next? Who are the next uh, players? You want to do them? You want to get the jerseys? Yep. I'm excited for this uh, this matchup with the Saints. Saints Bears, I think it is. That's gonna be a good one. For everybody watching, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the alerts, make sure you leave us a comment what you think. Saints and the Bears.
Who else what do we got uh, playing in the... Um... We got that red, the Redskins, Tampa Bay. Redskins in Tampa Bay. Yep. Claps and RG3. There you go. Back when they were considered the Redskins. All right. There we are. Gerald McCoy. All right. I ain't got no sign Tom Brady, Let's but I got to sign. Let's talk about this. These are some fun matchups. Yeah. These are some fun matchups. This I am excited to see Tom Brady. This is pretty obvious on um, who's going to be winning, though. I got Saints over Chicago. All day. Even though that the, the Chicago, they do got a good defense. Taking Saints over, Not um, over, Drew Brees. over Chicago because yeah. Saints have a better overall team. They got an offense and a defense to where... Chicago Bears have a defense, and then on their offense, they got Allen Robinson, a wide receiver. Their tight ends are pretty nice. Oh, yeah, they got Jimmy Graham, uh, too, yeah. at tight end. They got two players. So, But Jimmy ain't the Jimmy how he was for the Saints. Right. Or Green Bay. He, um, he's very different. They also, they got, they got Montgomery, too, and he is an upcoming running back. T.Y. Montgomery, he is, yep. he's another one that is really good. And if I'm not mistaken, um, oh, no, last David, year was... David Montgomery. Yeah, David Montgomery. David Montgomery is a running back now. Yeah. He was play receiver. But, um, yeah, I got the Saints, Drew Brees. You're not stopping Alvin Kamara. You're not stopping Drew Brees. You're not stopping Mike Thomas. Like, you can't. It's hard to stop all three of them at the same time. Now, Khalil Mack, don't get me like, Khalil Mack is a big factor. Like, that motherfucker is, like, he will get through some shit. Yeah. I'll tell you what. But I don't think it's going to be good enough. I don't think one player can... The whole team got to step up. Exactly. It's got to be a bad day by Drew Brees. Exactly. There's Mike Thomas got to have some drops. There's 11 versus 11. You can't have 11 versus 1. You're going to lose every time. No. Nope. You will lose every time. You can't even have. Kamara got to have. You can't even have 11 versus 10. Two. And you you going to lose. You got to have 11 on 11. You know that. To have a chance. I had I enjoyed watching that, that man play on uh, Christmas. Who's that? Kamara. Remember how he had six touchdowns? Oh, yeah. Alvin, Jesus. yes, Alvin. He is one of my favorite running backs in the league right now. He's special. Yeah. Him and him and McCaffrey. I think they're gonna be they're gonna be around for a while. Yeah, McCa Christian McCaffrey. He would do a lot better if he was on a different team. I said what I said. Yeah. You replace him with. Um, I don't know, Le'Veon Bell on the Chiefs. Christian McCaffrey's going to tear it up. Yeah. You replace, um, well, who was it, Aaron Jones on Green, Bay. Um, on Green Bay with Christian McCaffrey. Aaron Jones is nice, though. Yeah, he is. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, Christian McCaffrey, like, there's, like, even if you put him on Baltimore for um, Mark Ingram, it's going to tear it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what they do. Even if he was on the Eagles, they got a good offensive line still where they where they make holes. You know what I mean? For you to That's run. That's true. Through. Eagles, man, they're disappointing. Bums. Bums. Carson Wentz. Is this guy is this guy a bust yet or what? Carson I, Wentz. He's very close in my opinion. The the shit that they took to this get this guy. I, I, I think right. It's, right now, to me, is a hit and miss. It's like in North Dakota State, they ain't got competition like this. You're mm -hmm. beating out everybody. You're fucking destroying the competition. Mm -hmm. Shit, now it's NFL. You can't be complaining when you fucking ain't getting playing time. You better work. Mm -hmm. You're the fucking man, but you're losing it. Yep. Losing it. Yep. But Jalen Hurts is nice. I, I think Jalen Hurts ended up being a starter. He's going to be there for a minute. He's going to be a starter. They just pulled him out because they wanted that pick. Yeah. They would have been at... They would have won. They would have had the ninth pick. 
Yeah. They lose, they're with the sixth pick. Now, what I believe what they're going to do, they're going to trade Carson Wentz with a pick to get a higher pick. Right. In the draft. I can see it happening. I can. That's a bold one. I like, I love, I love draft day trades. Ooh, that gets me, that gets my blood going. Mm -hmm. So we both agree. Saints beating the Bears. I'm going to call this one. I'm going to call this one a fucking shootout. I think Saints are going to just light it up. I'm thinking it's going to be 36 to 10. 36 10. Saints. 36 10? Yeah. I'm going to say. That Saints defense is scary. You see what they do to Tampa <coughs> Bay. Okay. It's, it's terrifying. Um, I'm going to say maybe 34 to 14. 34, 14, 34, 17. Good little Somewhere prediction. around there. So either way, Saints advance. They're moving on next yeah, week. Yeah, they're definitely winning. Out of Washington. You you seen what fucking... Uh, in what, Tampa uh, Bay? What's I'm going name? with Tampa Bay. That's All just the obvious choice. Yeah. Now, that's probably going to be a blowout. Yeah. I think uh, Washington might not score 10 points. Probably not. I'm not... I'm not I don't think it's going to be a high, high shootout. I think Tampa Bay is going to end up winning about 24, 24-10, 24-7. 17 little point point win. Enough to make him advance. Yep. <coughs> That's for sure. <coughs> Ooh, this is a fun one. Steelers. No, the Titans play uh should have been an order. Titans play the Ravens? Yep. Titans play the Ravens. This. Are we not going to talk about how fucking Tom Brady is 40 years old and had the second most touchdowns in his career? Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? That is pretty nuts. 40 years old. He's 41. I don't know. Dude's a legend. Dude's, Dude's goat. a legend. Dude's the goat. Yeah. Heard these two. Oh, yeah. We got Seattle Seahawks versus the Rams. Now, I've been saying this for a couple years now. Um, I see my Super Bowl prediction is Seattle Seahawks versus the Baltimore Ravens. Okay. Now, that's that's who I believe is going to play in the, in the, in the uh, Super Bowl. Now, out of these two, Obviously, I'm gonna say the Ravens. I'm gonna say the Ravens. Going Titans, baby. King Henry is gonna storm through that motherfucking defense. Yeah, that's the only thing, though. You, if we can stop, if if Baltimore can stop Derrick Henry, Titans are gonna lose. Yeah, that is true. But <laughs> no team has done it this year. And, and that true. man only gets hot in the postseason and the end of the year. Yeah. I think, what was it, a fun fact was him and Tiki Barber were the only players to finish with 200 yards in their season finale back-to-back -back years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fun fact for you. And all these jerseys can be, can be purchased here at a 99 Jersey Plug. Yes, they can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And if I don't got a size you have, he's got sizes too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. I'm going Titans. I'm going to go Titans. It's going to be a low-scored one. I'm going to say 17-14. I'm going to say 21-14 Ravens. 21-14 Ravens. 17-14 Titans. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. 
when it comes to Seattle Seahawks and the Rams, I'm going with Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. This got one, the best all-around team over <coughs> there. I just do not think that Seattle's messing around. I'm, I'm intrigued to see this matchup because I, I, I like the Rams, but, man, that quarterback, Jared Goff, is fucking a bag of buns. D.K. Metcalf. Calvin. Calvin Johnson, that's what he is. That is Calvin Johnson Julio. 2.0. I'm telling you. That'll be a fun one to watch. I'm think I'm calling Seattle. It's gonna be I think they're gonna score a lot more than we think. I'm calling 22-22-14. I think there's just gonna be a safety in this game. Safety. Can't say it's gonna be right off the bat, but there's gonna be a safety. Jared Goff's gonna fucking lose his mind. <laughs> I do like the the team they got. They they. I mean, they got Jalen Ramsey, and and, and my fucking. Uh, he's the one player on defense that's just. And and Aaron Donald. He's a sleeper, big time sleeper. You don't know what oh, he's he gonna do. He locks down everybody. Everybody that he locks down, they don't get. No. Nope. They don't get no yards. Like, that's the thing. He's the best lockdown corner man. What man, other matchups man. we got? Um, that's it. That's it. Yeah, okay. That's it. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for tuning in to Feel Good Podcast, podcast that your mind wants. Always talk about the, the predictions weekly. We'll be posting more often. Yep. Make sure you tune in, subscribe, hit the button, leave a comment, share it, do all that stuff. We follow back. We do all that stuff, too. Yeah, we don't, we don't uh, promote violence, the use of drugs. This is medical cannabis, medicinal baby. Um, kids, stay in school, get an education, because you know, whatever they, you know, I know it might sound, uh, sound cliche and all that, but you know, you really need that uh, education to have a, <clears throat> a good career, make good money, be able to live happy. So, you know, make sure you stay in school. Don't do drugs. Don't drink alcohol. Shout out to all the men and women out there serving overseas. You know, thank you for your service. You know, thank you very much. Hope everybody has a great day. Oops.